even if it's not the last day in terms of the years and the, the Lord is about to come. Some of us ain't got many years on this earth. Amen. I'm just, and, and, and I ain't just talking to the old folk. Amen. I'm talking to, I'm talking to all the folk that's in here on the board. We don't know what, when the Lord's going to call us on. So we have to do is go on and get ourselves together. Go on and get ourselves ready. Go on and get ourselves ready for Listen, you have been given. Thank you for being a part of our giving that, that has been happening here for the land of Egypt to come uh, in this moment. Carrie, but you have been given some of you give online. Thank you for being a part of the one that give online. Of course, you can use our Givelify app if you're giving. You can use our Vitality app if you are giving online. If you want to be a gift electronically, you want to be given my gift, get an electronic giving. But if you want, so if you want to do that, you can do that online. Otherwise, you can bring your offering, you can bring whatever offering you want, whatever form you want. Uh, we're not accepting Bitcoin at this moment. Uh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Bitcoin is a virtual money. We're not accepting that right now. We, we, so, so just bring your heart back. <laughs> your checks in your cash is what we're talking about. Deacon, if you will come, if you will come, Deacon. There you go. Here, here, here. Good job. There you go. They're going to come to assist us and put forth that offering. We have an offering with you. Uh, thank you for, for being a part of that. This is something that we're doing. Uh, uh, I'm continuously bringing it to our attention before us that we're still working on our parking lot project. And some of you are still giving. I already know you're giving. I'm aware that, that, that you are a part of giving. Thank you for being part of giving a part of a part of that project. This is how I was, I was in Centennial Park in Atlanta. If you remember Centennial Park uh, was, in 1996 was the place where the Olympics were held in Atlanta. I was there and when I walked into the park something that I, I, I saw on the ground it was it was some bricks on the ground and people names were in the bricks. And what, what, what had happened was those people that had contributed to, to making that, that Olympics possible, their names were put in, in on the on the on the brick in in that in that in the, on that project. I thought about the same thing for us. For this project that we got that, that the Lord's gonna allow us to happen as we redo some parts of it of it. And we we I I could imagine it would like to put some bricks down with folk name on. My name would be one of them. But, but listen to this, I, I, I also thought about this, that, that, that we can't just put, it, put your name on the grave just because you gave $2 to the office. It's going to cost at least $250. If you, didn't have, if you didn't give at least $250 for the project, your name probably won't appear on the grave. But that's not a problem, right? That's not a problem. You give what you can give. Uh, do what you can do. Don't worry about if your name ain't on the brick. If you don't worry about it. Just give what you can give as, as being a part of this project. I hope you're able to to be to get catch on. I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing for the one that be a part of this giving. And, and, and I appreciate you. I, I know I have a pledge to give, and I'm definitely going to be a part of this giving and make sure this project comes to pass. And the Lord's going to, to bring the past. We're going to do our part in doing what we have to do. Deacons, if you will, you serve uh, the, the ones that are here. You serve the Lord.
given uh, today. We ask that you bless everyone. So return that offering to us. Son of this old, we pray. And we love this one. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
good friend of they are working with the children. They are working with the children. And I think the work of the We have a list of people that we refer to about our friends every week. And other than that, the tag of people that we have been added to our friends. Over many of the ones that I have, there are some others that, that need to be added to our friends. Continue to keep uh, Sister Sandra Woods uh, in prayer and John. Keep them in prayer. They are part of this ministry. And I'm telling you, they are some faithful part of this ministry. Sandra is recovering. And what a lot of things, but the John is a sister, Bessie King. But we have quite a few people on our list. Brother Burnell, Fleming, we're talking about this, Anthony Wings, and family, his sons, especially after singing to his Linux winners. Ken and Burnell and family, Marty and Miss Michael and Zeke, that ain't that family. Carlos Robinson, the trick of them in the name people, she never stops. Brother Ron Lewis, keep Brother Ron in prayer. He inquired of us also, keep him in prayer. Clyde Ron Fleming, Lindsay Robbins, Mary Crowder, Lindsay Collins, we married, they married Mary Stofall, Yanni Fleming, Kamora Stokes, Patricia Fleming, Sebastian Fleming, Sister Bobby Black. Courtney Lewis, Shabbat uh, Ann, Francis John, Bishop Clifton Jones, keep him in prayer. He heard his prayer. Billy James, Billy uh, Bobby Watson, Clifton Ann, Minister Patricia Lewis, still on our prayer, keep her in prayer. Jim Klein, Howard Burns, Jim Deacon, Sister Owens, Deacon is doing well, Mother Mary, uh, keep her in prayer for sure, the, the son of the Lord. Adolf Lennigan, Benoit Flynn, Walter Stewart, Chick Way Flynn, Charles Peter, Derek Flynn, Jamari Nawala, Karen Flynn, Bob Diva Flynn, Bradford Island, Taylor, TJ Brady, Judy Kennedy, Brother Tony James. He's out working, but he's a part of us. Keep him in prayer as a family. Curtis Montal, RJ McKinney, Walter Brown, Serenity Robinson, Arma James, Cornell, Cornell, Shadana Gaines. Name Williams, Ion Hansberg, Tico Burnell, Andy Chitwell, Gail Seth, Patrick Gilman, Tramel Stokes, Wilson Stokes, Anderson Stokes, Shabria Stokes, Linda Johnson, the part of our online community, James and Aretha Fleming, President Collier Corner, Collier Corner, that family, Kilby Corner, George White, uh, George Francis, Francis Hunt, it's all my friends, my mom, my descendants, Anthony and Sibley, Della McBride, Frankie Curtis and his family, Frankie Coleman told me he and his wife would not be here today. Keep them in prayer. On you children, just the children. Mary Sibley, Darlene Covington, Felicia Antoine Collins, Kenley Fleming, that family, Rashawn Parker, Mason McCaskill, uh, Connie Blackman, uh, Mother Patricia Amy, who is here, keep her in prayer, and her daughter, Amita Childress. Keep the milkers, the meter in prayer. God and your sister, sister Rosie Mosley, and also the net Mary. Keep the sister the net on our prayer and in any prayer also. You will stand with me right now. Come to the Lord. And if you're able to stand tonight, you don't have to. But if you can, if you can stand, stand with us right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for being our Lord. Thank you for being our Savior. Lord, we come to you now because we need you as a healer. Lord, we come to you now because we need you as a deliverer. Oh God, you know every situation is going on in every life. There's absolutely nothing Thank that has escaped you, Lord, but you saw it all. Lord, have mercy, Lord. Some of it you even designed it and orchestrated it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, for your own purpose, because you're trying to get, you want to get the glory out of the city. Lord, I'm praying that you get the glory. Every name we call, get the glory. Every family that's connected, Lord, you get the glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Touch their hearts. Touch their minds. Touch their spirit, God. Lord, they heal their bodies. We pray. We just pray, please, you want to do it. And we thank you for doing it in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 6, 
Isaiah chapter 6. Let's start reading that first one. Isaiah chapter number 6 and verse 1. Through 5, we want to read this. Also, I'm going to something. St. John chapter 1, also. Isaiah chapter number 6, verse 1 through 5. Scripture reads, it says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne. Lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And above the seraphim, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Right. And the folks of the door moved that the voice of him that cried in the house was filled with smoke. Yay. That's verse. Then verse number five says, Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and well, in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes. I've seen the King, the Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you for this word. Oh, God, thank you for this people, Lord, that are here, hearing this word. We ask you to bless us, that we'll become doers of it. In Jesus' name, amen. May be seated in the book of St. John. The book of St. John, something for the passage. I want to read something. St. John chapter 1, verse 17. Look what the scripture says, St. John chapter 1, 17. I've been out, I was out last week, so I didn't get to preach. So can I take my time today? Take your time. And I'm so happy to hear that. I know at least I got one eight man. I may have to have two, I think. Amen. <laughs> I just want to take my time. St. John chapter number 1, verse 17. What the scripture says in verse 18 also, it says, For the law was given by Moses. But grace and truth, somebody say grace and truth, came by Jesus Christ. Verse 18 is an important verse. says this, listen to it. It says, No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, who has declared Him. Right. Uh, I want to use a subject today that says, I want to see Jesus. Amen. Uh, Lord, I want to see Jesus. Uh, the old song, Mother, you might remember she's a singer. Uh, it says, as I journey through the lane, Singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord lead me home. Through Him I must win. Then the refrain says this: Oh, I want to see. <laughs> Look upon His face. There is a sing forever. It's amazing. On the streets of Lord, let me lift my voice. Cares all day, home and day, yeah, to rejoice. Yeah. I mean, I, my lesson says I want to see you. Yeah. Now, I want to be really clear about something regarding my lesson today. That yes, I do want to see him, and I want to look up on his face. However, I'm just about like most of us and most people I'm talking to, we don't necessarily want to see him today. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Lord, I wish uh, in order to see him uh, in that regard on the streets of glory, I have to go through a process that I'm not ready for right now. I'm not interested in doing that right now. 
that will put a death don't
Uh, so anytime he did something, he would speak his word. God would speak his word, and his word would go out and accomplish that which God would speak. God would say, let there be, and, and all of a sudden there was, even in the midst of nothingness, when there was nothing, God would speak and say, let there be. And all of a sudden, something came about. But this is all under the law. This is when God is teaching. He, 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 God is, is dealing, he began dealing with man under the law. Oh, good person, I need you to help me, though. I need you to help me, though. Uh, so, so God was dealing with man. Moses, he said the law was given to Moses. God was dealing with man under the law. God speaks his word and his word goes out and it performs certain things. But John said this, he says, he says, he said, but, but no man really has seen the Lord. And, and what John was really talking about was this. He said, up until Christ came. Oh uh, Lord have mercy. Up until Christ came in the flesh. No one had really seen God like this before. That's what he was saying. No man had really known God like this before. No, never had it been in the history of man that God walked on the earth as a man. In fact, he never walked on the earth as the son of God. Right, right. So that's the reason John right and said no man has seen him. You've never seen God like this before. Man has never known God like this. That's the reason I tell you that both of them are right. Uh, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord. I remember when I saw him. There were other people in the scripture that said, I saw him. And I know that I saw the Lord. And I can tell you how he looked. Daniel was one that, 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 that talked about what he saw. Job was one of the ones that he talked about that he saw God. Ah, Lord, have mercy. But, but then John comes along and he begins to rise. God gives him something. Ah, Lord, have mercy. John began to write and he said the truth about it. Uh, the law was given to Moses. But grace and truth came in with our Lord and Savior. The truth about who God was and what he was going to do was not made known under the law. What it was going to be made known for under grace and of truth. Ah, yes. oh, Lord have mercy. Under the law. And before the Lord came in the person of Jesus Christ, humanity only saw types and shadows of That's what right. was to come. Right. That's what the scripture talks about, that, that we only saw types and shadows what, what God was going to do. In fact, Moses was one of those types and shadows of Christ to come. Uh, what was Moses doing? Why, how was Moses a typology of Christ? Why? It's because Moses is the one that's going to lead God's people out of sin. Right, right. He's going to lead them out of slavery in Egypt. Yeah. He's going to deliver them where? To the promised land. Now, that's just what Jesus is going to do for us. He helped me, God. Jesus come. Why did he come? He come to help us with our sin. Yes. He come to break the, to break the boundaries that sin is going to us. But he didn't just come to deal with sin alone. He come to take us somewhere. He said, he said I have a place prepared for you. Ah, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to take you to the promised land. Moses was a he was a type and a shadow of oh, our Lord. Uh, the other person who was it? It was Joseph. Uh, somebody remember the Sunday Bible class that we've been teaching, been teaching about forgiveness and Joseph. Well, Joseph is a type and a shadow of Christ. I'm just talking to you. I'm trying to help you understand that, that, that the law was given unto Moses. And when God dealt with man, he dealt with man according to this law. But there was another side of God. There was another, there was something else. There was another way that God was going to deal with man. Ah, uh, Lord, have mercy that, that no one had seen. In fact, I had seen. He had heard. Neither had it entered into the heart of man what God was going to do. 
they never seen a God like this before. Uh, they never seen a God that was born of a woman. Uh, never seen one that walked among men. Uh, never seen a God that, that actually came from his heavenly home and began to dwell among men. They never seen a God that deals with them and showed them the truth. Show them the grace. Oh, Lord, I heard it. Hallelujah. But Joseph was a type of shadow of Christ. Why? Because Joseph, as you remember in the scripture, Joseph, God had given him a dream. Uh, Lord, I heard it. God had told him that there was something that you wanted to do. Uh, there's something, and you're going to become the leader of the people. And you're going to become a leader in the family. In fact, the, the sun and the moon are going to bow down and pay homage to you. Who is, and that he was talking about his mother and father and also his brothers. They were going to bow down to him. He's a young boy. Right. But so, 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 so now, uh, Joseph becomes a commodity of Christ because now Joseph has to do something that Christ had to do. Joseph had to forgive his brothers that, that tried to destroy him. His own people that he grew up with. Huh? The, the own folk that he ate at the same table with, they, they now, they are after Joseph to destroy him. They're trying to get rid of Joseph. I'm telling you, you never see him like this. But, but, but so Joseph is now in holiday of Christ because why? Joseph has to forgive them. They've done it wrong. They, they tried to destroy him. They tried to get rid of him. Uh, just like they did Jesus. The Bible says he came to his own. And their own received him not. Uh, he came to the folk that he loved. Uh, he ate with them. Uh, Lord have mercy. And now, all of a sudden, they are trying to destroy him. But the Lord says, we got to, we got to forgive him. In fact, he prays to his father and said, Father, forgive him. But well, they know not what they do. Uh, I'm telling you that Joseph is a survival of them, but he's really just a type of shadow. Right, right. He wasn't the real deal. He, was, he wasn't the shadow maker. He was just a uh, just someone in the shadow showing what, oh, what, what the truth is. Yes. Pointing us to the truth. Yes. Oh, look what have mercy. Joe, uh, John writes and says that no man has seen the Lord. Really, a clearer definition of that word seen. When he says no man seen the Lord, he's really talking about the fact that no man has really known God like this. Now, when he said no man has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son. Nobody has ever seen him as an only begotten Son. You've never seen him like that. I'm sure, and I don't care how many times you've seen God. So he tells Isaiah, Joe, uh, uh, John tells Isaiah, uh, yeah, I know you've seen him. I, I, I believe you saw him. I can tell you, uh, the way you the, the way you describe the, the encounter. I can tell you that, yes, you did see God. I, I, I don't disagree with you. In fact, what, what I'm saying is not contradictory to what you have said, but I'm just trying to make it clear to you that no one really has really seen God like this before. Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. That's what that's what he tells me. He says, he says, he says, Isaiah, I know it. I know you, you, you're right. You did see him in that year that King Uzzah died. I can tell how you describe him that he was holy. I can tell your words that you used and to describe him that you saw God and you come to that that he's holy. And you saw the angel that in the host of heaven that was with him crying, holy. Yeah, I agree that you saw him. I really agree that you saw him. And I can also tell you. I can tell you by the way you responded to when you saw him. Ah, uh, it's a difference whenever you get in God's presence. Uh, whenever you really come in contact with God, uh, that's a difference. Uh, the only way you can really describe yourself is as Isaiah described himself. He said, whoa, whoa, whoa it's me. Whoa, it's me. Uh, I, I can see I ain't, I ain't ready for God. I, I, I can see I, I, I'm, Lord, I, I thought I was right. I thought I was doing good. But when I look at your holiness, when I look at you, Lord, and how firm you are, how great you are, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, I realize, Lord, no, whoa, it's me. Uh, in fact, I realize now I'm undone. Now, Lord, you got some more work to do on me. Now, Lord, I need you to keep your hand on me, Jesus. I need you to put your hand on me, Lord. I need you to help me, God. 
as in the day of provocation. I submit that 